What is going on, everybody? This is SDoc21, welcoming you to my YouTube channel. That's a pretty fancy intro you got right there, isn't it? What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, SDoc21, coming to you with some Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. I don't know why I introduce myself like that. Usually it's, what's going on everybody? This is that stock 21 coming to you with, insert a video. But I said, it's your boy, S stock 21. Do you guys like that intro better, guys? Did I just say guys twice in the same sentence? When you're up on a rocky mountain, like this rock sides are a threat. Can you imagine? Boulders tumbling down on you. That'd be like, what? total terror. You don't seem to be scared. Would you want to try to use rock slide? No. I really don't. Maybe, maybe before I go off to the Elite Four, that will be a good attack to teach a Pokemon, but at this point in time, guys, it is not worth my time. As I said time, and then I should have used Metal Claw. Oh, please defeat it. It didn't defeat it. Geodude use... Okay, well, you use Defense Curl, so that gives me a chance to not look like a complete idiot. Thank you, random Pokemon in the wild. Knock it out, even though it's not very effective. That was too wise that it was knocked out. Solid, solid work. Solid. Solid as a rock. Is there anything up here? Oh, there's a Pokeball. So I didn't, I didn't screw up too bad that time. There was actually something there. Yes. Yes, I actually got to the trainer without another wild Pokemon. I mean, I love battling for the XP, but my Pokemon is just so much higher in level, and I don't, like, I want to keep raising him in level, but the problem is he's going to get too high and not listen to me, and then I will have no usable Pokemon, except for the Doug Trio, which would actually be at the right level, I guess, to be dominating, but not over-dominating, but I don't want to use Doug Trio. I don't want to waste any XP on a Pokemon that's not going to go to the Elite Four. There's, there's no point. Have you guys ever done that? Like, I've done that before, where I'll have a Pokemon, and I think, I'm going to take this Pokemon to the Elite Four. And you train at, like, 30 or 40 levels, and then you go, Nah, I don't really want you anymore. And then you go, think about all that XP that could have been spread out. That was, like, 40 levels that could have been spread out. Let's say you took only four Pokemon with you, right? Those 40 levels could have been 10 levels each. So instead of going in there with, with four Pokemon that are level 50, they could have been all level 60. Like, that's ridiculous to think about how much XP you can waste on a Pokemon. Especially one that you're not going to use. Like, like, I don't know if that's selfish, but... Like, obviously it's not selfish, it's a video game. But, like, to train Pokemon that you're going to use and put everything else in a, in a computer. It's just, there's no point if I'm not going to use it. That's just a waste, right? Do you guys agree? If you agree with me, leave down in the comment section below how correct I am. Just be like, stock 21 is correct. Don't even give anybody a reason for it. Just say, I am correct, because then that way, they have to watch the video. That's right, I'm using you guys to boost my viewer count. That's how we do it. Instead of going out there and advertising myself and, and getting people to come to my channel, I'll just make you guys make people watch my videos. There you go. I work out for everybody. Because you guys are already watching it. I'll make more people watch it. And if you guys are watching it, it means you enjoy my stuff, which is good. I'm glad you guys enjoy my stuff. And it makes more people want to enjoy my stuff because my stuff is awesome. I didn't even battle that guy. I thought he was going to turn. Oh. He wants one too. How can you be a Pokemon trainer without a Pokedex? I thought that was like a requirement. Or maybe that's just for my rival and I. <laughs> my rival boobies. Is that... I need clarification, guys, because I don't remember. Is... Is it a requirement for all Pokemon trainers to have a Pokedex, or is it only for my rival and I because we're doing a study for Professor... Professor Oak. Let me know. Because I, I don't know. It's really cold in here. I know that's really random and you guys are like, well, it's not cold here, or you could be like, yeah, it's cold here too. It's really cold in here. My toes are getting cold and so are my fingers. That's how I know when it's cold. I'm gonna close my window. It's like 35 outside. <laughs> Welcome to Ohio. It might be March, but it's still cold. That's just how it is. No, It snows like six months out of the year. You just get used to it and keep putting up with it because you can't do anything else. You can't tell whether to stop, so... You know, you just keep going with it. But it's really cold in here. I'm starting to get goosebumps. I don't like goosebumps. I don't know about you guys. They just... 
Like, they just feel weird, and they look weird. And I want them to go away. I don't have them now, they went away again, but... I just don't like them in general. Ooh, we're almost out. We got, what, two trainers here? And then we got one guy trying to teach me a move down at the bottom? If, if my memory serves correct, which it hasn't in the past, so... If I'm wrong, guys, let me know. In the comment section down below, be like, s Doc, you were correct earlier, but you're stupid now. There you go. See? You can comment on your own comment. How awesome is that? That's pretty awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. Commenting on your own comment? You don't even need anyone else to talk to. It's like what I do for for playing this. I just keep talking to myself. Actually, I'm, talk I'm talking to my computer screen because I can't really physically talk to myself. That doesn't make sense. Although talking to yourself is a thing, but I'm not doing that, if it makes any sense. I don't know. I also... When I play this, I'm obviously looking at the screen, because if I wasn't, I wouldn't know what the heck I'm doing. And that's usually where I'm talking, which is why my audio isn't always the best, because it can catch it bouncing off of the wall that's in front of me, because it's a brick wall. But I also do look at my microphone sometimes and talk into that as if it were, like, a person, which is kind of weird, because I look at it and, like, look for reactions, and I go, wait a minute, you're just a microphone, you can't, you can't react to me. But I look at it like... Is everything okay? Am I screwing up? Do I sound stupid? So, I don't know. If you guys want to do a Let's Play series of any game for YouTube, or... I don't know, is there any other... I guess you could put it on, like, Facebook or something. I don't know. If you guys want to do a Let's Play of any sort, I say go for it. It is a lot different than playing with your friends and recording stuff that way. Or... For some people that just like put up gameplay and put music over it, I personally don't like that. I want you to talk. Or I mean, even people could do like a hybrid, like, Alright guys, this is me, I'm going in, I'm gonna do this here, I'm gonna beat the crap out of these guys, watch this. And then it's like a clip, it's got some music on there, like, Alright guys, welcome back, you love that stuff, yeah, I love that stuff, now watch this coming up here. It, like, you can do a hybrid like that, but anyway, for a Let's Play, I say go for it. It is a little bit to adjust to because you're not used to talking to yourself, especially if you do Let's Plays in the fashion that I do. I end up playing it through for a while, so I'll get like 20, maybe on bad days like 10 to 15 episodes all recorded at one point in time. Now think about it, they're all 10 minutes in length. That's a lot of time talking to yourself, so you really either have to come up with stuff to say on the fly, or you gotta plan it out. I don't plan things out, I don't like planning, that's just more work on me, so... That's why a lot of my Let's Plays... A lot of my Let's Plays... I've done... Have I done... Oh, I have done a couple other Let's Plays. Alright, we're just gonna continue with that phrase then. That's why a lot of my Let's Plays are really erratic, because I don't have a sheet of notes in front of me that says, you should try this, you should try that, you should talk about this, that, or the other thing. I just go with it. I'll talk about the game if I don't have anything to say, and if something pops into my head, BAM! You got something to talk about. And you don't even have to worry about reactions, so you can say whatever you want. A couple episodes ago, I talked about a pretty sensitive subject. There wasn't someone standing in front of me with their arms crossed looking at me like, Why are you talking? You know, I was just talking, because no one can tell me to stop, if that makes any sense. Like, you guys can put in the comment section how wrong I am, or how I shouldn't have said that, or how you remembered this, or this happened at this one point, or you disagree, which I like that. I like actually interacting with people, especially in the comment section, because I can't call you guys on the phone because I don't know your phone numbers. And, you, you know, if you wanted to message me over YouTube and we can have a private conversation, then that's cool. If you guys want to talk about something, like if you... Because I talked about weight, that was a sensitive subject. If you really have a problem with your weight or whatever, and you want to just tell me how offended you were, or how can you get better, or things that I would recommend or whatever, message me on YouTube. It's confidential. I'm not going to be like, so I was talking to this one person by this name, and they said this. No, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to... I'll just have a conversation with you. You can send me a message on YouTube. Be like, hey, s -Doc. How's it going, man? How's it hanging? What you been doing? What you been up to? How you doing? Ha, howdy, hey, how what's up? How you doing? You just be like that, and I'll be like, oh, you know, been doing this, that, and the other thing, and I'll just, you know, we, we can talk. Just private chat over YouTube. That's cool. No, I'm not going to give you my phone number, because you don't need my phone number. <laughs> Although, I mean, I guess if you're really cool and I, like, start to trust you or we talk for a while over YouTube, I guess it would make sense. I mean, you know, it's life. Things, things are cool. But, yeah, if you guys just want to talk, we can. I'll probably set up some sort of email for my YouTube channel, and you could email me through there. It's not set up now, so don't go looking for it. 
but it might be one day. I don't know. It just really depends. I think as my channel grows, I'll have to do that. But as of right now, YouTube messaging works just as well. It's not exactly the quickest way to respond, but I will respond, guys. So, I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Alright guys, click the video on the left to take you to the previous video, click my speed drawing and the 3D question mark on the right to take you to a random video, and as always, be sure to hit the big red button down below to subscribe.